Hi, I'm Christy Nicholson, and this is The Dirt on Green. Hey, Christy, it's Nikki from Jasper. Years ago, when I worked up north, when people thought about climate change, the animal they most worried about was polar bears. Uh, Ten years later, is this still the case? Have you seen a Coke in the last ten years? I mean, do you, do you own a TV? I mean, because it's, it's all about the polar bears. I mean, they're so cute and cuddly and drowning. Look, I don't want to cry total greenwashing here because without a doubt, polar bears are increasingly affected by climate change. I mean, there are even reports of roller bears. Polar bears moving south for land, running into grizzlies and, and having sex. But apart from increasing roller bears, here's the dirt. There is another animal that is perhaps in greater peril. You never saw it in an ad or a truthful yet inconvenient documentary because uh, it's ugly. It's the narwhal, also referred to as the corpse whale. The 23-foot sea mammal has a 10-foot-long spiral tusk jutting out of its head. It's actually one of its front teeth. While their total numbers are actually higher than polar bears, 50,000 versus 20,000, they're less able to adapt to a changing climate and so more likely to become extinct. The point is this, it's an entire Arctic ecosystem that's at risk. I mean, below the polar bear and the narwhal are the hooded seal, the bowhead whale, and the walrus. Not to mention the krill and the algae that are critical to the entire food chain. I mean, there's an entire industry devoted to that other unihorned animal sliding through rainbows and trotting through flowers. I mean, why can't this one get some love? Bye.